you to come. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. I saw you and your husband, of course, in the paper this morning. Damn paparazzi don't give you a moment's rest, do they? Some of them are worse than others. I suppose I'm rather used to it. It's part and parcel of the job. Well, being a politician's wife can't be easy. You can't go anywhere without being scrutinised. Please, get on with it. The pressure must have hit really hard when your husband ended up in a mental institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course you don't. This might jog your memory. It's all there. The details of your husband's nervous breakdown seven years ago and what they treated him with. The drugs, the psychotherapy, the shock treatment, the works. Are you threatening me? So I can assure you that you are playing with fire. I would tread very carefully if I were you. I think it's my duty as a journalist to inform the general public of a state of a man that's running for the Cornwall by-election. Do you realise how long it's taken my husband to get to where he is today? I want cash. I think what you want, what you need, is a little integrity. A hundred thousand by tomorrow evening. <laughs> and where am I supposed to find that sort of money? Well, with your property empire going from strength to strength, I'm sure you could arrange something. Do you think that a toxic little tabloid tart like you get away with this? A hundred thousand by tomorrow evening, or I spill.